In this video, we're going to look at was, logs, and traces. Now, I know that this is not something that sounds exciting, but I can tell you from experience that if you want to solve a problem, you need to look at the logs. You need to look at the logs. It's just no that the fastest way you're going to get to the resolution of a problem is to know exactly what the problem is. And really that's the idea of a log and a trace. So let's see if we can uh, do this instead. The thing about logs though and traces is they're just not very uh, intuitive. There are two essential things to be aware of. First of all, there is something called a log inside was. And secondly, there's something called a trace just like we suggested up at the top of this uh, screen sh the screen here the logs and the traces now here's the thing inside a log first of all what is a log so a, a log is essentially configuration it's like setup information it tells you the path for example where the log files will be located and what what is actually going to be in that log so for example and you'll see this in a second uh, much of this is actually related to system the system output, the regular system output that you would get from Java, and then separately the system um, output that you're going to get, for, and that's Java SE, right? And then also separately is sort of this Java EE. What what you would expect that information, first of all, what, that it where it is on the file system. So you're talking about really the path there, and then secondly, what would be in it by default. Those are that's the idea behind a log, and there are three kinds. There is a J VM log, there is a process log, and then there is a service log. Now for our purposes, you're going to see, we're going to simplify this, but for our purposes, generally speaking, what we want to deal with is the JVM log. Now the second thing is the trace. The trace it has two components. There is the config and then there's the runtime and these are shown as tabs when you're in the system and what the difference is between the two is that the config whatever you set up for the config won't take effect until you restart the JVM and in the case of runtime the changes that you make and by changes we're talking about what it is you want to see those are immediate so those are the differences. Now the question is, what is it exactly that you want to be logging? And th that is something called log level details. And this is actually something you're probably already familiar with. Essentially what happens is you have to tell the system was that you are only interested in, for example, and we're going to see this actually, uh, a package called com.ibm and that's a Java package so we have a video a separate video on that if you're curious com.ibm.cf and this stands for counter fraud and remember that there are multiple VMs right in our environment so we have we have the core VM and we have the analytics VM and then we have the data VM and of course there's also the client and then there's a you know there's a supplemental server out here if you're using ISII and some other things so the counter fraud software CF here sits in the core server so when you need to if you if you need to look at a trace if you need to get a trace of some problem that's gone wrong and the component that you need to look at is counter fraud then you need to come to the core server in order to diagnose whatever is wrong, in order to look at whatever the problem is. So you, in other words, don't, don't come here to the analytics server because counter fraud does not run on that server. But if you needed to look at, say, uh, say SPSS or something that does run on the analytics server and you need to look at it in terms of was, then you would be looking, um, yeah, you'd obviously come here and look at the trace or the logs. And actually what we're going to find is that you really want the trace in most cases. So this is called log level details. And the log level details are, as we said here, we'd have sort of a package, right? com.ibm.cf. And just so you know, there's a syntax to this. So the thing, what it goes like this, the thing that it is that you want to log. So you put that first and then you say equals. And then you'd say, what level do you want it 
two log. So do you want like fine level? And we're going to look at these levels. Or, f or do you want finer level? Or do you want finest? Which will give you the most uh, detail. And so the syntax is the thing you want, and then you set it to equals. You do an equal sign, and then you set it to the, the level, essentially, that you want. And then you do a colon, and now you can do another one. So there's a space there. And then you do thing two equals, and then you'd have, you know, level two there. So if you have multiple values, you can put them there. Now, if you want to not spec, so the thing one, by the way, that thing one we were looking at, thing one equals value, colon. So this thing one, in our previous example, was com.ibm.cf. And then you could have that set to equals, and you could make, uh, well, we're going to look at what those values can be in a second, but anyway, that, that's the idea. It would be something, and then you'd have a colon, so it would be something, and then a colon, you could have another entry. All right. Now, where is it that you would set these log levels? Where, where is it that you would do this? Well, the log levels are actually applied to the server. So remember, and I mean JVM, so remember here that in WebSphere, you have a cell at the top here, Let's call that cell one, and you, inside that you have a profile, and then inside the profile you have nodes. There's a whole separate video on this. Uh, if you're interested, I would suggest go look at that. It's the uh, the overview, the demystifying profiles and nodes and app servers and cells video. Uh, we'll go into much more detail, but anyway, you have a server one here, and then you have your app one, and these are where your applications live, and, and CFM is one of these applications inside here. It's on the core server. We just saw that. And then remember that you might have, and actually we do have, a separate profile. We have multiple profiles in the system. And you might, so this would be like node 2 and server 2 and app. Uh, that'd be 2, by the way. So app maybe 3, right, and app 4. And also keep in mind, one thing we didn't actually cover in that other, um, in the overview in the demystifying video is that you can only have, we have covered it elsewhere, is that every profile can only have a single node. You can't have two nodes or three nodes or four nodes or five nodes. It's one node and one profile. And that's why you see node two down here and you don't see it, uh, you know, it's not there. So I'm mentioning this because when you do, when you set up your levels, the level needs to be uh, applied to your trace, essentially, needs to be applied to a given server. So you have to identify the server that you want. And first of all, so let's, let's kind of draw it like this. And then that goes over to the server. And then the com.ibm uh, that we were talking about is actually going to target that particular application. So we'd have com.ibm.counterfraud would target that particular application.